Hello guys, so we need four now, which is the last unit. So we've created parts, we've assembled the models, 3D models. So now we have a complete design. So we just need to document it properly. So let's say you you just not design uh, this model, but not the one we're gonna build it. Maybe you send it to some factory or something. So you need a way to document or prevent the drawing according to standards so that whatever is gonna build it is gonna build it according to, uh, to your specification. So that means the dimensions need to be according to the standards and all the details you want to put in. That's called lesson drawing. So lesson drawing can be done in two ways but I will I will show you the easy one. Actually both of them are easy but what I'm gonna show you is I already created a template that we would like you guys to use for the project. It's um it's a formal template that is that is the logo for the school and I mean and everything. So we need you guys to use this one when you present your the project. So basically, what I'll show you on this template is three sections that I've marked red. So here, I made it to have two types of pages. We have A3, we have A4. So it will depend uh, according to your design. So if, if, you, if you need A3, you will use A3. So if you need A4, you will, need, you will use A4. That's my page sizing. And then here on the top right corner, there is part details. I will tell you more about it when we go to the software. And then here on the bottom right, there is title block. Basically, the details of the project or part or whatever. So the name, who draw it. So you will see on the following slide the proper today. So the title block, if I zoom in on the title block, it looks like this. There's tolerance in there. There's a symbol for my projection. And there's a name of someone who's drawn it, detailing it, and then approving it. And then also the date for the corresponding uh, Stages. Then the title for your part or assembly. Then the part number. And then the scale will be here. And then the size of the page that you've chosen. Also, I will show these. You don't have code these. The the drawing will pick it up automatically from your part. I'll also show you how to do that uh, using the eye properties. And then on my last slide is the part you say, which was the top right corner. So if I have an assembly, obviously I will have a lot of parts, you say part one to part five or whatever, depending on how many parts or components I have on my assembly. So item number is just the number that is allocated to that item. And then the quantity basically how many of that component are uh, available in the drawing. If you remember on the last assembly we did, we used those pins, I think there were two or four pins. So the quantity will be two or four. And then the material, which was carbon steel. And then the finish, which is any polish, galvanized, whatever. So that's basically the title block. So we will send you this template. All you need to do is to just double click on it or you just open it using your open command on the software. And then from there you will import assembly, the part, and then you just detail everything. That's the way we would like you guys to do it and present it from. So now we'll just go to the software and I will show you how to detail the last assembly we did. Okay, so there's a software and then showing the recent files that are open here. 
family and all those so parts. So we want to document all these on the IDW. So I will go to open and uh, it's gonna it's gonna open my project folder and I'll click on the template. The type of file is so the IDW but everything is gonna pick it up automatically. You don't have to change everything. Okay, it's gonna show the error. Okay, it's the last one I worked on. I'll just say skip all. Okay. Alright. And then this is a template. Let me just delete uh, something. Let's activate the page. Sorry about that. It's it's a uh, drawing I was working on. Okay, so this is the title. I mean, sorry, this is um, the template. So what we need to do now is to place views. So the first one we're gonna place is called the face view. Normally, on on your working drawing, your first page is your the previous assembly on your first page and then you just label everything to part one, part two, part three, I think it's right. And then you, you have a table somewhere here in the corner which is giving out details about the part. And then on the following pages you will detail each and every part that is showing on your assembly. So let's go and let's activate the uh, A3. Oh, okay. Since I have these two pages, the A3 and the A4, if I want to go to the A3, I just right click and then I say activate, it's going to go to A3. If I want to go to A4, right click, activate. So let's go to the A3 and then there is a title block and then that's part detail. So in order to place the component, we go to space, and then we create open an existing file, and then we want the assembly on the first page. Click OK. Right. So before we even close that, we can just orient it and position it the way you want it. I want it like that. So are we using this thing? Mm, not like that. Okay. I'll leave it like that. I wanna put it like that. And then the scale, you change the scale here. 1 is to 2 is small, so I'll use 1 is to 1 and then it'll be bigger and then I'll say OK but then now and then you can move it around if you want but then now I don't want it to be and white I want it to show the color so what I want to do is double click if I will click on it uh, let, me, let me do it again you see if you hover your mouse uh, on top of it, it's going to show uh, the red dotted line. So you just double click inside that red dotted line. Double click, and then you come here to save it. Click save it. And then click OK. So it's going to show the color now. Right. And then I'm going to show you here. Okay. It has all details, you pick them up in the assembly. So I'll show you how to change them. So you come here to assembly. You right click and say open. It will open your assembly file. And then you right click on the tree. Here. And then you go to project and then that's where you specify your part number, the description, 
and then for the status you specify who who checked it and who approved it the data was checked the data was approved go back to your project and what do you want to change here yeah? for the design you will need to pick a name whoever drew it and then you click apply and you close and then you go back to your IDW so when you come back to your IDW to update if you made changes to another drawing to update it you just click here on this area thing so you know the update or see and you update so now what we need to do we need to label all the components right so we place the view so now we go to annotate and then that's where you find dimensioning the text if you want to insert the symbol and all those things but you don't need for the first page the first page will only uh, add the part list we're going to put a part list somewhere here and then we will put some balloon balloon labeling let me show you how to do that so you click on balloon and then you click you wait for it to turn red and then you click say ok left click and then I wanna put it there left click and then right click and then click continue right and then you go to the next one choose the pin when you're doing this try to make it as neat as possible and then it will snap if you it means it's just straight to the top one you right click continue and then now that okay. undo so click on the part return if it doesn't snap, you just go close to it and then and then for your end point, you need to left click and then you right click, continue and it will be straight right, and then go to the next one and then we have delete this and then maybe do it here right so that's basically what you do you label everything and then now if you just put labels and you don't put a table it won't make sense so to make sense out of it you come here to part list and you can ask to select document. So the document we want to select is our assembly. So this is the folder location in my assembly. So I'll select it. So you say OK. And then you could bring up a table and then you just put it wherever you want to put it. But normally it's on this side. Right? So what's happening on the table? The item number, if you check item number one, is only one quantity, and then it's a plate. If you go check, there's number one, it's our plate, and then number two is the center link, double check, and then if you see this one, number five, there's number five, okay, there's number five, it's those 10 by 10 pins. There's two of them, if you check on the quantity, there's two of them, and then 
that one and that one and then also the 10 by 15 there's two of them that and that right so now if you see on the column for description it's empty so to change that we need to change on the part right so if I come to my assembly sorry I'll come here right on the three on the left open that view four open the assembly right so I want to change for the plate so I'll go to the plate I'll right click and I say open right after I've opened my plate I go also to the left right click and then you go to I properties then you do the same thing you've done before so part number normally is not the name of the thing it's normally some code so like you say plate web 001 or whatever and then and then on the description it will say plate or web and then the designer, the engineer will check it, and then maybe a supervisor who will approve it. And we go to status. Also here, the name will be checked by Tanasha. It's approved by Sherlock. do that for all of them and then you could update here and then if you want to add a page basically you will just okay we don't need to add a page on this one we just need to activate A4 and then it will bring up end page and then Normally, we place, we need to give details about the parts now. So, when we, when we give details, we will go with the order. So, the first part was the plate. So, we will detail the plate here. Right? So, we go to place view. And then, we say base. And then, we go to the file we want uh, plate right so and here now since it's not an assembly you will use your your knowledge of your first angle third angle or whatever right so your first your front view maybe Okay, what do I do? I'm true. Okay. Right. So that's my front view. Let me put it there. And then if I want to place another view now, I'll say projected. My base view was my front view. And then projected. So we're gonna project from that. So 
Sutra, okay. So what happened? Six. Great. Right? And then you can always move them around if you want. If you see that you don't have space. Move them up a little bit. And then normally on this side you can just show your isometric. So you will place um, the space maybe. Then you just show space. And then how do you want to place it? Like that. Okay. But then it needs to be shaded. So double click, shaded. Okay. Right. So if you see here, yeah, it picked up uh, the material, and then also it needs to pick up the quantity. I think it's the quantity. You can hard code it. I'll, I'll, I'll double check now. And then to detail it. Draw on it, approve, detail, and then title, draw number, then the page, one to one, file state A4, and then now we need dimension because it's just a part. So we go to annotate, we say dimension, so and then you click on what you want to dimension. So let's say we want the distance between here. Alright. Um, how do I turn it? Can you see that? Align. Right. And then if I want to dimension my circle. Click on Fluent Dimension, click on Circle, and then it will show you that it's diameter 5. And all this, you can always right click, and then you choose if you want a dimension diameter or radius. And then next settings, and then. Also, you can. So you can dimension everything you want. A second dimension. If you want to show the thickness to ten. So that that ten. Then if you want. So that one, how we can turn. Mm, what else would you want to show? So you 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 to take everything. After you've done giving details about this, what you will need to do, you will need to add another page. Right. So you can just 
Skopje. Kopi. Dan apa? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. You don't, you don't need to copy. You just right click and you say initiate. Right. Right here. If I activate that, so if I want to add a new sheet, we'll just like this. Activate that. And then I copy. Create sheet format. Uh, Supposed to be a new shape. Not that. Let's just place. Let's just place the use for now. I will check what's going on. So item number two. If we go back to the first page, item number two was. So I'll go to my page three. It's a very now I want to play uh, link. So I'll play Central Link. So if you see that it's too small, you can always edit the space. One to one. And it will be a little bit bigger. So that's how place view. Then if you want to project, create, then you can always also, okay, let me show you another type of view. So if you, if now you want to section, you have to click section, and then you click on the view that you want to section, which is this view, then you click on, on the start of the station line, then, then the end point, and then the direction of your station arrow. So continue. So my station plane is called H8, and then there's my detail, right? And then wh what I want to do next is to put center line there to show that it's because of circle, could cut on a circle. So I go to annotate and then you come here to center line. And then click on the first line, to the line. And then show you. Right? And then if you want to dimension, dimension it. Then circle ten the thickness here. So whenever whenever you're doing your dimensions, you check the standard from the textbook. So I'm, I'm not gonna dimension everything for the sake of time. Right? So you put everything and then make sure all the details are here as how I showed you but then remember we didn't do for this part so you have to open this part go to eye properties as we've done for that plate web and then add everything so now I still want to create a new page Oh, okay. To create a new page in your sheet, you don't like click on these. Sorry, you right click here on the, on the open space. 
I missed that, sorry. But I click here, say create new sheet. So it could be case, let's say the one, I think I'm gonna do what, what the other link. Uh, for what the other one? But I know you got item, uh, okay, I forgot about it. I'm gonna go check it. Activate. Okay, the driver link, item 3. So if I go to page 4, to edit this part table, you can always double click in the field set. So, if you see a number of sheets you can't edit, sheet size you can't edit, Part number can edit, but then material, into material, you can now know you can't. So item number, it will allow you because it's only these things. All, all, all those fields that are in the title block, you cannot edit on this property. You will only edit, you only, you, you have to open the Part. So we'll edit this is item number three. Quantity is only one, and then finish depending on the thing. So I can call this maybe. Poly. Oh, that's I don't know how to spell poly. Okay. Any poly. And then that's it. And then we place the view here. Go to place view. Place. I want. Do that for all the parts, which is like the same procedure. And then the next step now is you want to convert to PDF if you want to use it. You have to all. Okay. Basically, if I didn't want to say you have to all, it's just asking me if I want to update all the parts. Remember, if you like edit the material type. Uh, and you know, all those what you call I properties, it will ask you to update everything. So just say yes to all. Okay. And then to export to a PDF, you go to File, Export, and then PDF, right? And then you don't say save because it will just save this page, the current page you're in. So you go to Options, you say all sheets. And then the resolution, so let's choose the highest one. And then now you say save. I'll give the name of one. Walker assembly. Walker assembly. It, you can go check it. It. That's our working drawing, and then I will give you more tutorials on how to do this. 
and this template also is going to be emailed to you and it's also going to be available on your mobile site. Uh, I'm going to end this video now. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to send an email or WhatsApp me. I will try to answer as possible as I can. So, thank you guys for watching.